In this video, I'm going to be going over all of the Fortnite overtime challenges. Yes, that's right. I know exactly what all of the overtime challenges are going to be. Despite only eight of them being unlocked, I know exactly what the rest of the overtime challenges are going to be. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys every single long along with how to complete every single overtime challenge. Trust me, you guys don't want to miss any of this information, especially to everyone who's completing the overtime challenges. So make sure you guys watch this video until the end to know exactly what to expect when it comes to all of the free overtime challenges drop this video a like if you guys are hyped to know all of the overtime challenges I know there's a lot of you guys going for these challenges and trying to complete them so knowing all of the challenges beforehand is definitely a bonus and it's definitely gonna help you completing them so let me know if you guys are hyped to know all of the leaked overtime challenges by leaving this video a like also comment down below what would you guys rate today's item shop one out of 10 now i didn't expect this at all but the soccer items have returned clearly we have every single one of the soccer skins along with all of the extra soccer items like the pickaxes and the uh, the glider here we still have that free heart span glider along with all of these pretty cool daily items along with one of my favorite emotes which sadly is not rare anymore but we have a red card in here once again but let me know down in the comments below right now what would you guys rate today's item shop out of 10 personally i'm gonna give it a 9 because i really like the soccer stuff and speaking of the item shop make sure you guys are using my creator code hey it's ben j in the item shop if you actually input my code right now you're going to receive a free cuddle hearts wrap that's right a free reward for just putting in my code so if you guys want to claim your free reward and also support me at the same time then make sure you use my creator code hey it's ben j in the item shop i really do appreciate that a lot and one last thing make sure you guys are subscribed to my youtube channel with notifications on every single day i'm inching closer and closer to 50,000 subs and i'm really trying to hit that as soon as possible so if you guys want to help me reach my goal and also receive daily fortnite content regarding new fortnite leaks updates news and more then what are you waiting for make sure to go down and subscribe to my channel right now so that is right guys we know what every single one of the overtime challenges are although only eight of them are unlocked right now some new in-game leaks reveal what all of these challenges are in fact going to be so without further ado i'm I'm going to go ahead and read you guys every single one of the overtime challenges and also explain how to complete every single one. Now, some of these you probably heard before because, well, they're already unlocked, but the rest of them have not been unlocked as I'm recording this video. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So first, we have deal damage to opponents with assault rifles or pistols. Now, I'm pretty sure this one is already unlocked, but this one is as simple as it sounds. You just grab an AR or a pistol and you just shoot at opponents. That's all you do. You're probably going to complete this one naturally. Same with the next Next one, which is deal damage to opponents with shotguns or SMGs. Another straightforward challenge, you just grab any type of shotgun, any type of SMG, and shoot at opponents. That's all you do. Next, outlast 75 opponents in a single match. This one you're probably going to do in one game. If you are like halfway decent at the game, you just have to make it to top 25. And just like that, that challenge is complete. Next, this one is kind of interesting. It's play matches of Drifton with a friend. And if you guys don't know, Drifton is going to be an LTM, which as you could probably tell by the name it's actually going to be a drift board LTM yes that's right the drift board is finally confirmed coming back I believe it's going to be unlocked once the next set of overtime challenges unlocked so in two or three days but honestly this challenge is pretty easy you just have to play the LTM and boom you can complete that challenge next this one's already been unlocked but collect coins in featured creative islands now this one's kind of the more I guess confusing ones I guess you could say you basically just load up a creative server walk into the rifts of the the featured islands and you just play the courses it took me two courses to complete it but each featured course has a certain amount of coins that you can collect and really all you have to do is play each uh, featured course and collect all the coins within that course it literally took me like 15 minutes to do this challenge so you know it's not that complicated next regain health from a campfire in different matches I believe this one's already unlocked as well for this one you can use either environmental campfires or uh, campfires that you get out of chests and it's as simple as as it says in the challenge, you basically just have to regain health from a campfire and I believe it's three different matches. And just like that, you've completed that challenge. Next, search chests or ammo boxes at a racetrack or a dance club. Now, we've seen this type of challenge before with another one that's already been unlocked and that was search chests or ammo boxes at a motel or an RV park. Now, these types of challenges, in my opinion, are the hardest ones to do just because everyone is literally dogpiling to the same location trying to open up chests and ammo boxes. 
this. It did take me a few games to do this, but if you just keep dropping at the same location, eventually you are going to complete this challenge, although it is kind of tedious. There is one more challenge like this, and that is search chests or ammo boxes at the block, which obviously, as you guys know, is up here where Risky Reels used to be. Right now, it's Mr. Slick Willie's block, which is a pretty goofy name, but basically you just have to search chests and ammo boxes there. Next, search a supply drop in different matches. Now we're going back to, you know, the more simple challenges. Really, you just have to crack open a supply drop in different matches. I'm assuming you only have to open like three or so. I don't know why it would be more than that. So open three supply drops in different matches and just, just like, that, like that, boom, that challenge is completed. Next, thank the bus driver in different matches. An even easier challenge. You don't even have to do anything for this pretty much. When you're in the battle bus, just thank the bus driver and yeah, you just, that's it. Next, place top 10 in squads with a friend. Now we I have already seen a challenge like this before and that was place top 15 in duos with a friend. Now this one is as simple as it says. There's no tricks to it or anything. You just hop into a squads, place top 10, I believe three different times. Same goes for the duo, just place top 15 in duos a total of three times and just like that, those challenges are done. Next, visit different waterfalls. Hold on guys, I'll show you the waterfall locations here in a second, but this guy's being quite the bugger. Oh my goodness, my aim was crusty, but we got the kill. So like I was saying, the next challenge is in fact visit different waterfalls. Now, as of right now, I know of a few waterfalls. I think there's one over here. There's one also at the very southern part of the map as well. There's one up right here by Loot Lake as well. And I believe the one by the Viking Village counts as well. So those are four different locations. I believe you're gonna have to visit three. So, I mean, it is a pretty straightforward challenge, but the hardest part about it is just knowing where all of the waterfall locations are. Next, Next, revive a friend in different matches. This one has in fact already been unlocked. You basically just pick up a friend in different matches. I believe you have to do this in three different matches and just like that, the challenge is over. And finally, visit different named locations. This one is already unlocked as well. You have to visit 10 different named locations. So there you guys go. Those are all of the Fortnite overtime challenges and also how to complete every single one. For the most part, all of the challenges are pretty simple and easy to do. Honestly, you could probably do some of them just by naturally playing. Let me know down in the comments below right now, are you guys going to be completing all of the overtime challenges? Now, I'm assuming most of you guys are because, well, you clicked on this video. But let me know in the comments below, are you guys going to be going for all of the free rewards and also going to be completing all of the overtime challenges? Let me know down in the comments below right now. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching this video covering all of the overtime challenges and also how to complete every single one of them. Drop this video a like if you guys did happen to enjoy also let me know in the comments if you guys did enjoy check out my last video there's going to be a link to it in the description and also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel with notifications on and yeah that's been it hope you guys did enjoy and i'll talk to you guys next time peace